Hello guys, so today's painting has a story that I would like to share with all of you guys and hopefully you can take something away from it. But first thing first, uh, so let's start with the painting. For uh, today's painting I'm using Curtis's watercolor book, which I was really pleasantly surprised with. Normally the cheaper uh, watercolor paper doesn't hold water pretty well. Well, this one is, isn't perfect too, but uh, it's much better than everything else that I have tried so far. I have prepared my colors uh, in advance for the ease of use of them and the faster application since I didn't want my paper to dry uh, as I was applying them. Uh, for um, the sky and the background foliage I used wet on wet technique. I also applied some variation of the green color because I didn't want my painting to look flat. Originally I didn't know where my roses would be uh, located, therefore I had to lift off some of the paint with a clean brush so I uh, make space for them. Of course you could uh, sketch it out first so this way you know where your um, roses would be located in advance. This way you'd avoid the lifting of the paint. Here I'm starting to paint the piano and uh, for the bottom part of it I am using um, sepia, sepia? How is it called? Sepia color. And I'm making it a little bit darker since uh, this is going to be in the shade. However, I did not know this at the time and you'll see me later on struggling a little bit with the shading just because it's from the imagination and I really didn't know where I wanted everything to be located but it was good practice though. And if at this point you're still watching, here is the story for you guys. So once upon a time when I was still in high school many 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 years ago there was no, uh, no smartphones, so um, basically whoever had to commute quite long from school to home was pretty bored. So one thing that uh, we were normally doing was uh, just talking to people on the bus. And first of all we were learning many random things, some of them useful, some not, but who cares. We were just spending our time at this point um, with this... Um, Nowadays, again, people have smartphones and can waste pretty long time on them. But back then, that's what we were all doing, just chatting to people. And uh, one day, I was, as I was commuting from school to home, um, I met this uh, person. He was much older than us, probably in his 50s. And um, turns out that he was artist. And as I was studying in art school at the time, I was pretty impressed and curious to find out um, what kind of art he was doing. So what he did was uh, he invited me to his exhibition in a um, local gallery. So of course I did take my chance and went there. I did bring a friend uh, with me though because obviously I don't know him so yeah I just wanted to be on the safe side of the things and um, yeah I was really excited and um, went to the exhibition and there was a stand for uh, young talents to express themselves so I took the chance and uh, painted something and although I sat in front of the empty canvas for like probably half an hour before I knew what I wanted to paint. Once I decided, I just uh, drew it in like 15 minutes. And uh, this was a piano and um, petals falling down from the sky. So um, yeah, the piano wasn't quite like the one that you're seeing at the moment. Uh, it was more like coming out from the left uh, hand side of the um, canvas. And um, yeah, the petals were just falling down. It was pretty abstract, obviously for 15 minutes you cannot paint a quite impressive kind of um, piece. 
But uh, yeah, I did my best and I also remember that this was the first time ever I used um, oil paints and it was really exciting but um, also it was new thing to me. I, I had no idea how to use those things so um, yeah, I just um, uh, let um, my hand flow and uh, go with it, whatever it turns out to be. Actually it was pretty successful painting. And um, there was um, quite a few of people there. There was also owners of other galleries. And um, I did receive um, lots of proposals to make uh, my own exhibition in their uh, galleries. So as the evening was going, I, it was time for me to go home. I was only 16 at the time. And um, I remember I asked to take my piece home and pay them whatever, you know, for the supplies that I have used. And uh, they were like, um, no, actually, you cannot take it. It stays for the gallery, you know, um, and um, you can, you know, pay it at the price of the the gallery price i was like what what the hell is this like this is my own labor yes i used your supplies but it is my own labor this is my own creativity that i poured out here you know no one held my hand while i was doing it so i just couldn't understand i still cannot understand it to this day obviously i don't know if this is um something that was legal or not to do but yeah, they just um, did it and I was only 16. There was not much I could have um, done really. So um, yeah, as uh, the years went, um, I, I always uh, went back to this memory and I was just thinking that I should paint it again and again, but obviously in different way, not, not in the way that it was painted back then. normally paint abstract so yeah over the years i hope that uh, i'll find the time and the inspiration to um, attempt it again and uh, here is my take to uh, at it and um, although you can tell i'm not very experienced with uh, watercolor i felt like it needs to be quick but i didn't want to put it down just with the uh, pencil because i felt like um it's not gonna do justice to the painting and um, yeah I really wanted to have color to it so um, yeah this is it and um, I will attempt it again I will uh, do another one that um, will be coming from the side but um, yeah this one was just uh, basically to take my to uh, my thoughts down on a paper so um, just to to express what I'm imagining kind of thing. I don't even know how to explain it, guys, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. So I guess the moral of the story is always ask uh, what's gonna happen to your piece once you paint it, whether or not you need to buy it from them and at what rates. If you're ever in this situation, just remember this uh, happening to me and try to protect yourself because, yeah, um, just ask and as long as you know you could agree on it of course if you're fine with this but um, you definitely need to know it in advance otherwise it feels like someone is stealing your work and uh, making profit out of it okay and this was the story I had for you uh, on this painting and let me know what would you do if this happens to you guys I'm really interested to hear it down in the comments Anyways, going back to uh, this um, painting, so I was really struggling uh, to decide um, where is going to be my shadow and where is uh, my light going to be because you see that's a problem that I always encounter when I'm um, working with no reference photo. However, at the end, I did, uh, decide, did manage to decide it, obviously, and um, once I um, worked over the black keys a um, few times, changing the direction of the light, 
you know, I finally took the decision and uh, made the cast shadow as well. So um, here you're seeing how I'm making the casted shadow and also the last minute I decided that I would like to add some more roses on the piano which I do think was a mistake, however it could work good but it just had to be planned earlier not like me like last minute who does that by the way guys next week we're gonna be doing um study of lemons and um i'm gonna be painting them in three different mediums uh, just to get more familiar with uh, the shadows and the values in them and one of the mediums will really shock you so stay tuned for this video So going back to the picture that we're painting at the moment. Then I also thought, you know, those roses cannot just sit like this. They need to also have stems and some leaves. And this is when things got really overcrowded on top of my piano. But um, I liked it in some kind of weird way. So um, yeah, I just kept it. And here you guys are witnessing the moment when my uh, painting started looking more like a crime scene. I don't know what came over me to do all those red splatters, but um, yeah, it was fun to do them though. So yeah, just doing uh, some more finishing touches here, ex extending my painting a little bit because I thought, okay, it gets a little bit tight on the bottom of it. So yeah, and here you're seeing an another brilliant idea of mine to add uh, gouache to the roses at the front because I thought, you know what, they're a little bit too transparent. <laughs> but um, yeah, just I'm full of brilliant ideas, am I not? Just remember guys, whatever happens, the sarcasm will never die. I think uh, this wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you learned something new. And um, thank you very much for watching and for all your support, guys. And I hope that I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!